it's David. I just want to present a brief history and outline of the ways that they manipulate the masses. I'm calling this the minefield of the mind. A history lesson on the mind set by the powers that be who are skilled in the art of psychological warfare. Basic examples of ways they control the masses and conform them into the image of the world system, aka the beast system. Well, part of it, it was the Rockefeller school system. The Rockefeller family poured over $100 million into the public school system to brainwash the youth and to make skillful, uh, skillful workers for the factories. You know, they taught them just enough to where they'd be useful. Have you ever noticed that you were taught much, that you were not taught much useful information in school? Well, there's a reason for that. Besides basic English, math, science, and history, we were not taught much else that helps us as adults. And even though subjects are highly flawed by design, like evolution, sexual education, the new sexual education, y'all know what I'm talking about, the Illuminati version of our history, you know, pseudoscience, things like that. The U.S. government bought and paid for our world of pseudoscience and the grant paid scientists who stay in line with what they tell them to do. They work for the government. Any scientist that has their own thoughts and tries to use the scientific method and reasoning that is not the official story, they're not going to get grants. And they're going to be either ridiculed, mocked, or just poor. An example of this would be NASA, because they're false. The Nazis and their experiments during World War II. That is the origin of modern mind control techniques, y'all. It eventually came to the U.S. after Operation Paperclip brought the Nazis, the uh, intelligent, the best Nazis as far as intelligence goes were brought to NASA and brought to the United States to be part of government programs. And what they did was they took their knowledge and mind control techniques that they learned from World War II from the 40s. And it came to the U.S. and it was named MK Ultra in the 50s. Operation names like Operation Mockingbird, MK Ultra, which is about mind control, Operation High Jump, Operation Fishbowl, and etc. Uh, if you are not familiar with any of those, I highly suggest y'all look those up. The CIA is the biggest cartel there is in the United States. Uh, the CIA and drugs, they use Hollywood, uh, they use the Hollywood entertainment world, uh, actors and musicians. Uh, they also hook them on drugs and use them to make it look cool. There's a great documentary on Amazon Prime called Drugs as Weapons Against Us. I highly recommend y'all watch that. Very good stuff. I've seen it a couple times. They show artists like Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Kurt Cobain, and all these people with documented proof of how the CIA used people like Courtney Love and all these other CIA assets to manipulate the musicians to ultimately manipulate us. They do the same with the actors. Another way they control us is secret societies. Example would be the Masons, Jesuits, Illuminati, Skull and Bones, OTO, etc. If you're not familiar with any of those, look those up. Um, they use false ministers to manipulate us. Example, T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar... Benny Hinn, Joel Osteen, Kanye West, Rod Parsley, Rick Joyner, who is a Knight of Malta, by the way, and pretty much anyone that's ever been on TBN is manipulating you using witchcraft. It's not true Christianity. They use lying signs and wonders. Benny Hinn likes to do that, or he did. Makes everybody fall down in the crowd, swinging his coat around. And these other false ministers out here, there's so many of them, I can't even name them all. But it's false ministry and it's magic, power of suggestion, and most likely the Kundalini spirit. There's a lot of false revivals going on, and I would say to be very prayerful about going to any revival, because there is a lot of falsehood out here. All forms of media, social media, TV, are used to control the mind. Different sound tones, frequencies, uh, patterns of words, uh, they build up... Your, the, the psyche and the hardware in the mind over the decades and as you're raised on TV and social media to respond to certain things in a certain way. Just like they do with uh, 
psychology with they ring a bell for a dog and a dog responds and they get you know food or they have rats in a maze and they reward rats and you know they get shocked that they don't do you know the maze right stuff like that okay well they manipulate us through tones and sounds indoctrination of the unassuming and unaware if you don't know what the sons of hell are doing you make a great target for their witchcraft of mind control the bible says to be aware of the devil's devices and schemes in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, it says, So that Satan will not outsmart us, we are familiar with his schemes. That is why it is so important to be educated and know how the enemy likes to manipulate and control us. I love y'all. God bless everyone. In Jesus' name, amen.